Today we're going to be deep diving into the world of color grading in DaVinci Resolve. Specifically, we'll be focused on one of the fundamental aspects of color correction, white balancing of footage using scopes. Before we get into the practical side of things, let's quickly discuss what white balancing is and why it's important. White balance is the process of removing unwanted color casts from your footage to ensure that white objects appear neutral in color. This is crucial for maintaining accurate and consistent colors throughout your video. Now, let's move over to DaVinci Resolve and learn how to white balance using scopes. Scopes are a visual tool that help us analyze the color and luminance levels of our footage. There are several scopes available in DaVinci Resolve, including the Waveform Monitor, the Vector Scope, and the RGB Parade. The first step is to open the scopes in DaVinci Resolve. You can do this by navigating to the color panel and selecting the scopes button at the bottom of your screen. This will bring up a panel with various scope options. Before we dive into the scopes, I just want to normalize this image so we can see the proper color and luminance values. I'm going to add two nodes. I'm going to click on one of my Vision 6 LUTs for the red camera because this is red footage. And we'll go with the Kodak 2383 LUT. Let's click on the first note. Now, once our scopes are open, we're going to play back our footage and analyze the waveform and vector scope. The waveform monitor displays the luminance values of our footage. The first step is to identify our white point. Look for a white or neutral gray object in your footage that you can use as a reference point for white balancing. This could be a white piece of paper, a white shirt, or any neutral object. In this case, we're going to click on our eyedropper tool, and we're going to click on this white wall. And DaVinci Resolves automatically white balances your footage for you, or it gets it pretty close. You can also do this by using the color wheels or the temperature and tint sliders. So we're going to undo this. We're going to click on our first node. We're going to go to our RGB parade. And in the parade, it shows our red, green, and blue color values. The basis of this is not only to use your eyes while using these scopes, but you kind of want these color values to be equal in height and in length. We're going to grab our temperature slider and we'll just move it around. And as you can see, the blue and the red are coming closer to the green and also the footage is becoming pretty neutral. Once you've achieved a neutral balance, you can fine tune the overall color balance of your footage using the wheels or the color correction tools in DaVinci Resolve. Pay attention to the skin tones and other important colors to ensure that they appear natural and accurate. I'm going to just drop my shadows, add some contrast, play with the pivot. Mess with the tint. Finally, Compare the white balance footage to the original to see the difference. You can do this by using the split screen view or by toggling the color correction on and off. This will help you evaluate the effectiveness of your white balance adjustments. Before and after. And I will say this is a pretty well balanced shot. By using the scopes in DaVinci Resolve, you can easily white balance your footage and assure accurate colors in your projects. Experiment with different white balancing techniques and pay attention to the scopes to achieve professional looking results. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Until next time, happy grading.